Well, we started with the community stations. Uh, we, we, we first we, we created a radio directory, which was a paper directory, uh, with all the stations in France. We know in France we have more than a thousand uh, operators, like companies doing radio, which is a very, very big landscape uh, compared to other countries. Uh, with those actors, we wanted to add all the people that are giving services or products to those radio stations. So we had the directory with the, the professionals that are giving products and services and the radio stations themselves. So we had contacts. And we said one, one, one day with my father, we said, let's, let's gather them into an event. Uh, and we started with community stations. They all came to uh, talk about radio and slowly and slowly with time, we moved to bigger and bigger and, and the biggest radio started to come and to be interested. And now last year, as we, we moved to here, Grand Al de la Villette, which is a very, very beautiful venue, uh, to, to create the first, really with booth, first exhibition, uh, linked to also content and free for professional visitors. So it has been, I think, you know, uh, uh, evolution, slow evolution, but first with community stations, you know, the, the core of radio. I mean, you ask any presenter um, where he started, whether he's from TV or, or, or from radio, he will tell you, well, I started in a small community radio station. And that's where comes the passion of radio. Well, I think first we, we, uh, we made a step forward going European. Last year we were uh, Salon de la Radio only, French talking only. We had 7% visitors from foreign countries, but they didn't have any content in English. So it was not very uh, interesting for them. Uh, okay, they came for the exhibitors, but uh, no real content. This year we decided to, 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 to go a little further and to say we're going to have a name only for foreign visitors. It's going to be European radio show. So the French talking people, it's still called Salon de la Radio. We don't want to call it Salon Européen de la Radio because for them, it's not accurate. It's their show, the Salon de la Radio. But for foreign visitors, European radio show is something that is new. Uh, so, and it attracts a lot of new foreign people. We have now, we have 20% of foreign visitors over those 6,000 visitors, so which is an improvement of 13% compared to last year. So we, I think it's just a start. Our goal is to really make a, a free to access for professional uh, radio event that gathers not only technicians, but also program people, also people that take care of sales houses. All the crafts within the radio industry want to gather them because they have the same passion and more and more program people are talking and working with technicians. So that's really our goal, to try to help them, gather them, and so radio go further. And what is the future of radio? We know what is the future of radio. Radio, the future of radio, it's, it's, like, it's not technology that really is, is a problem. It's not the way you broadcast that is important. What is important is your voice and how you ask me questions and how I answer those questions so that I concern the person that is listening to me. And radio people are very good in that. I have kids. My kids, I don't want them to listen to anything and anyhow. Uh, so the regulation is, is really something that is uh, very important and, and, and uh, in terms of Hertzian broadcasting. Then regarding the, the web, uh, is there really, really regulations? I mean, that's a good question because in France, for instance, everyone can do his own web radio. I can talk about uh, extreme uh, politics on, on the web and my kid can listen to that. So I'm very grateful that regulation exists in Hertzian because I know that if my kid is listening to FM or if my kid is listening to DAB+, which comes in France and which 
develops everywhere in Europe, I am secured that I have authority and regulation that makes all those presenters and all those people behind the content obliged to respect some rules for my kids. I don't want them to listen to things when they're too young. And, and, and so I think regulation has a lot of, um, in, at least in France, I don't know how it is internationally, but uh, uh, has to do a lot of, of work on the IP side. Because everyone can broadcast anything, anyhow, anywhere. How is it possible to, to regulate that? That's still an issue.